So I just pulled out a bunch of 20s, and these 20s are gonna become ones at the strip club because we're gonna be spending those ones on a stripper because this episode, we're testing a stripper. Yes, you heard that right, I said stripper. Her name is Vanessa, and she's been stripping for about a year now. Her boyfriend's name is Mika, and they've been dating for a total. This is what I'm talking about, bro. Yudi plot, whoever wrote this plot was cooking. Four years. Mika What's loves and cooking? supports his girlfriends, but he's also curious if Vanessa would end up leaving him for one of the wealthy, successful, good looking guys who walk into the strip club here and there. And well, today we're putting Vanessa to the test and we're finally gonna find that out for him. Alright, Tay, I wanna know something, bro. I've never been to a strip club, bro. I wanna I wanna go one time and throw a bag, bro. Like, I wanna I want I'm I'm basically gonna cosplay as a simp, bro. Like I wanna cosplay as a simp one time, bro. I wanna do it, bro. And for any nigga that went, what's a cash, what's like an above casual amount of money? You know what's crazy? I know strippers too. So I could just ask a stripper. I literally could. 400? Like above casual. Like what, what's going in there and like, damn, this nigga got the bag for real. Like what's that type of like, what's that type of bread? <laughs> Ties and limp would be funny, bro. I'm gonna have so much fun role playing, bro. Role playing as a simp, bro. Going in the strip club, bro. That's the closest I get. 10K, stop playing, bro. Over a band. Simp dreams. I just want, bro, chat. I, is it a problem? Now I want to know what it feel like to get finesse. I don't, I don't pay for sex. I don't do, do, go on dates and spend all this expensive shit by and impress women. Like, can I do it one time? So thanks to Vanessa's boyfriend, we know exactly where she works and what her stripper name is. Right now we are around the corner from where she works because we don't want to see about the security. <laughs> like guy. I got so many homies that went to the strip club and got some ass. Like I don't mean watching the shake. It's an empty question, yo. Why are you filming this? But I'm with Cole. I don't mean watching the shake. And he's playing the decoy this episode. You guys remember Cole, right? He tested his girlfriend in a previous episode. She ended up passing the test, but she wasn't too happy when she found out it was a test, and she ended up getting really mad at Cole and then dumped him. Well, since that video, Cole and I have actually become really, really good friends. And considering that he is now single, I high risk, high reward. Just thought he would make the best decoy for this video. So Cole is going to be the one who's going to walk in there, spend a lot of money on her, and get her numbers so we can move on to phase number two and phase number three. So get a lot of private dancers. Yes, get a lot of private dancers, okay? okay? <laughs> in an effort to not draw attention to the camera, I held it as discreetly as I possibly could while Cole got in line. In a strip club, money talks. The more you spend, the more love you receive. Here you go. So that's why we sent Cole in there with a... This, I ain't gonna lie, I like this Yudi, bro. I like this Yudi. Yudi need a dirty plot. He need a dirty plot to balance his like professionalism. That's what makes Judy bust, chat. Say I'm wrong, bro. That's like, he, like he needs some ghetto shit to, to make his professionalism like balance out. If it's too clean, it's like, ah, like it don't hit. This shit bust, bro. Has Vanessa's name written all over it. Okay, I feel like I was secretive enough, but Cole's in, he's in, we're good. Now we just gotta go wait by the car. Cole has been inside the strip club for about 20 minutes now. We've given him enough time to get comfortable, find a nice spot, order a beer, and look around. I text him and I ask him if he spotted. Beauty, no way you fucking text like this. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Yo, it's no way, bro. Yudi, come on, man. LOL. Come on, man. It's no way. Vanessa, and about five minutes or so later, he responds letting me know that he hasn't. I didn't want to start heading home until I was 100% sure that Cole was going to be able to execute this phase. So we decided to give him a little bit more time. All right, let's do Oh, shit. Cole in there doing his motherfucking thing. All right. She yeah. trying to fuck, bro. I ain't gonna lie. Uh, oh, okay. We got to the club at 11.51, and it's... Twerking animation was mid. She needed the Ice Spice update, but that was like... She now been almost an hour later. Cole still hasn't let us know if he's found Vanessa, though. But you know what? I honestly don't blame him. I'm pretty sure this guy is having a really great time in there. So we wait a little longer. Cole continues to chug down drinks and tip ones. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. He gonna lose all the prize pool before he fucking even find the bench and forget the video. Hopefully, though, he just doesn't. It's just not the Ice Spice pack. All of the money before actually getting a dance from Vanessa. <laughs> Cole must be having a great time because I have not heard back from him since the last time that I texted him. I decided to finally bug Cole for an update. Come to find out. Man, he put the ass before the cash. Cole, this, this a video, nigga. 
This guy has been having such a good time in there that, quote, he forgot about the mission. Well, my message gets him to just ask for Vanessa as opposed to just looking for her, and sure enough, he finds out that she's in the back getting ready. We also find out that a private dance is a ridiculous $200. But I mean... He said, fuck it. <laughs> Yudi is crazy, bro. <laughs> Yo. Heck, what can we do at this, this point? This is about to make me have y'all send y'all most recent use emojis, bro. What the? Y'all text like this? We're already committed, so we decided to just stick to the plan. I no longer have to stick around, though. At max, 2000 I mean, heck, what can we do at this point? We're Screw it. Do what it takes. If you need more cash, pull it out with the card I gave you. Just definitely don't overdo it, please. I don't want to work out broke. Yeah, I got you. At max, two to... Get this nigga out the club. He already, he already lowballing 2K. We're already committed, so we decided to just stick to the plan. I no longer have to. The, first of all, the dance was two. The private room was two hundred. He trying to get ten fucking rooms, bro. To stick around though. Now that Cole has found Vanessa, he just has to play it cool, request a dance from her, tip her generously, and get her number. It's two twenty-two in the morning, and I was finally confident enough to head home. This is infinite XP glitch, bro. Okay, so I woke up to some very good news and some bad news. The good news is that at 4.15 in the morning, Cole texted me saying, Mission accomplished. 4.15. He fucked. Video over. <laughs> Yo, the video is over, bro. He fucked. Like, he really took the mission too seriously. News is that at 4.15 in the morning, Cole texted me Mission accomplished. I know you're probably sleeping, but everything went good. He might read it. Saying, mission accomplished. 4.15 in the morning, people. You guys honestly say that he got some dances from her mates. No, no. I know you're probably sleeping, but everything went good. As soon as she came out, I requested her. Got a couple dances, made some small talk about what you told me. I should say, yeah, we exchanged numbers. Small talk, got her number, and apparently... As to when she was free to meet up and talk about the whole music video thing, and she said she could be free later tonight at like 8, 9, 10 p.m. Which one? So I went ahead and told her, let's meet tonight around nine. Tonight, that's very short notice. I was not expecting that, but we can make it happen or at least I'll try my best to make it happen. Now as for the bad news. Apparently one of the dancers at the club thought Cole was recording. My best to make it happen. Now as for the bad news. Apparently one of the six dancers thought I was recording too much and told me to stop. I told her I wasn't getting hurt, but she was like, nah, you need to stop. So she went to go tell the security. This nigga Cole had a whole fucking real side quest going on, bro. He about to get beat up. Apparently, one of the dancers at the club thought Cole was recording. So, security told me to just kick it back with the filming because it makes some dancers uncomfortable, so I did. So basically, I couldn't record much footage of Vanessa Way dancing too much on me. And Vanessa dancing on me, but I feel like I got enough. She asked him to stop. He I have the whole incident on video. I'm about to send you all the clips right now. Hit me when you wake up. Capture to this moment. Go ahead and home and knock out. So he got all his pro personal film just to show his homies, but when it was time to get the fucking YouTube, y'all should smack the shit out of this nigga for felling Yudi. On video. Oh, fuck. So the dancer then took her concerns to security, and then security asked Cole to stop because it makes some of the dancers uncomfortable. So because of this dancer, Cole was unable to record a lot of footage of Vanessa. I mean, hey, the good news is- she touched the phone, like- is way better than the bad news. So what if we don't got Vanessa twerking? We have a number. Okay, so you might be wondering how Cole ended up getting Vanessa's number. Well, easy. He did so by exploding Vanessa's dreams. See, one of Vanessa's dreams is to become a big time dancer for music videos or any other sort of film. Crazy enough, she's actually been in a couple of videos for big time artists like Chris Brown and Too Short. Well, anyways, when Cole was getting his private dances from Vanessa, he conveniently lied and mentioned to Vanessa that he had a lot of connections in the music industry. He lied and told her that he could book her a lot of gigs and potentially even get her signs. As planned, and this intrigued Vanessa. They exchanged contact numbers and agreed to meet up to date. Vanessa, the only one in there that got her uh, ice spice package, bro. She the only one that bought the DLC. To discuss my the plot thickens. Yeah, yeah, still good here. Where exactly am I meeting you? Also, is there anything you need me to bring? More about it. And being the night owl that Vanessa is, she agreed to meet Cole at 9 p.m. at his office, which in reality is my office, but yeah. Anyways, Cole then sends Vanessa the address, but with the wrong suite number. And I'll explain why he did that later. It's now 11 a.m. I FaceTime Vanessa's boyfriend, Mika. Update him on everything and tell him to meet us at the office. It's now <laughs> 11 a.m. I face. Yo, this shit just made me think of Kawhi Leonard, bro. I don't see no emotion in his nigga face, bro. No bullshit, this shit just made me think of Kawhi, bro. Where the fuck is it? Let me find a good ass Kawhi picture, bro. Why they ain't got no fucking stiff robotic type of Kawhi pics, bro? 
I'm seeing all thorough shit. FaceTime Vanessa's boyfriend, Mika. Update him on everything and tell him to meet us at the office at 7 p.m. I then text my friend Ant and invite him to tag along because, you know, he loves strippers. He was really happy, by the way. 7 p.m. comes along. We meet up at the office and we start prepping because, you know, he loves strippers. He was really... She's a fucking stripper? Oh, bro, I have to see her. I'll be there. <sighs> happy, by the way. 7 p.m. comes along. We meet up at the... Me and bro just alike for real. <laughs> office and we start prepping for Vanessa's crazy. arrival. We set up all of our cameras and then we figure out our angles. Once we find our angles, we then proceed to hiding the cameras. Look, you, you can't even see it. It's like there's no camera there. We then proceed to hiding the cameras. Look, you, you <laughs> Yeah, if you're not looking. Can't even see it. It's like there's no camera there. Look at that. Actually, look in yeah. person. Yeah. You can't, right? And then we could just put like some things around it, like a book <laughs> or something, and we're good. Right. And now that the cameras are hidden, we now give Vanessa a call to see where she's at. Hey, Vanessa. Hey. I was just wondering if you're on your way. Yeah, um, I'm actually about 30 minutes. 30 minutes away? Fine? Yeah, that's yeah. cool. That's perfect. Okay, I'll see you soon. See you soon. Drive safe. Alright, thank you. Bye. Bye. <laughs> what the fuck was that? <laughs> oh my god! Oh no, I wouldn't even like that. If I'm the, if I'm him, the boyfriend. So with Vanessa still 30 minutes out, it's giving us a chance to come up with some last finishing touches, <laughs> like opening the blinds up in order to add this much needed third angle, and of course also double checking that our phones link up perfectly so that way Mika can listen in. Hello, hello, call, linking up, hello. <laughs> but finally, after a little over 30 minutes, Vanessa finally arrives. Oh, oh, I think she's here. Hello? Hello. Hey, what's up, are you here? Yeah, I'm in front of this Okay, remember earlier I mentioned that Cole sent Vanessa the wrong suite number on purpose? Well, that's because we didn't want her to catch us by surprise like this. Okay, yeah, I actually, I accidentally gave you the wrong address. I'll come outside and get you. Okay. Yeah, just stay right there. I'll come get you, okay? Okay. All right, bye. So because we did give her the wrong suite number, we can now peacefully hide and then hit record on all of our cameras. We make it to the back room and Cole waits at the front door until I call him. Once we link up, he then heads to retrieve Vanessa. How are you feeling, Seth? Uh, a little anxious. A little anxious. anxious. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. All right, Ant, let me get some predictions. What are your predictions for this test? Um, I think that it's just going to be good. <laughs> <laughs> it really is. <laughs> How do you feel? How do you feel though? How are, how do you feel like knowing that she's dancing on other guys? How does that like make you feel? <sighs> like that. Cole has grabbed Vanessa and is now bringing her in. Uh, him complaining is lame to me because like you cuffed her, bro. Like what's this? Too late. <laughs> Sorry. It's freaking cold out here, huh? <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, I think they're walking in. They are walking in right now. He then directs her on where to sit so that she is in perfect line of our cameras. So, how was the drive? The drive was okay. You yeah. know, it wasn't too bad. It's Sunday, so traffic's probably not too bad right now, right? Yeah, luckily, I got lucky. As they make small talk, our third angle outside starts moving closer in order to get a better shot through the blinds, and Mika prepares himself for what's to come. I don't have any snacks, I apologize, but if you would like uh, some water over there. Sure, thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay, do not forget why Vanessa agreed to meet Cole tonight, guys. Remember, she is here to discuss what he can do for her to jumpstart and further her dancing career. So, last night, huh? Back. <laughs> oh my god, well, she's tough. She is tough. Uh, if I'm Cole and she go, I need you to step back. Like, I'm, I'm dead serious. Like, this would be my quest. <laughs> that, was, that was fun, yeah. yeah so was... Alright, let's listen to the, the, the uh, read. Here to discuss what he can do for her to jumpstart and further her dancing career. So, last night was fun, huh? <laughs> <laughs> well, last night. That was, that was fun, yeah. Yeah, yeah so it was, you know, something. You're saying that you do more than just like dancing in the club, right? Yeah, I do music videos on the side. I model. Mm. I like to, you know, dancing, rap. I've been working with Too Short for like. Rap. She rap. 
Jay, I think you got balls. Who is it? Too short? Too short. Yeah, you never heard too short? Nah. Seriously? Uh. You know, blow the whistle. Do, 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 blow the whistle. No? No. You know? I should probably know him, huh? Yeah, you definitely should know him. I guess you gotta look him up. I'll look him up. Okay, that right there could have cost us this whole test. Cole is supposed to have big connections in the music industry. How the hell does he not know who Too Short is? What's my favorite word? <laughs> oh, that song. I didn't get it either. I ain't gonna lie. JJ Luna, I appreciate the big nine months. That's cool though. So you work with him? Mm -hmm. Okay. But uh, what else that, what was I gonna say? As far as all of those, all, as far as like all of your aspirations and like your dreams, is there anything mm -hmm. that you feel like is kind of like holding you back or like slowing you down at the moment? Um, I wouldn't say that anything's holding me back really. Mm -hmm. It's just more so, you know, it takes time and you gotta know the right people mm -hmm. and. It's all about connections and who you Yeah, know. exactly. And that's basically it. But I wouldn't really say anything's holding me back. Well, it's a good thing. Her boyfriend's so happy about that. You know me now because I actually have a lot of connections. I know a lot of like agencies. I know a lot of agents. I know I know a lot of managers and stuff like that. So oh, I can, really? Yeah, I can probably help you out with that. Yes, Cole knows everyone in the industry except Too Short. Do you ever find yourself like, I don't know, having life just get in the way? Um, what do you mean? You know, like rent, bills. I don't know. If, are you in school? Do you have any like student debt? Yeah, like. But I don't see what that has to do with our conversation oh, 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 oh it has a lot to do with this conversation because here's what cole's getting at conveniently in the drawer next to him cole has an envelope with five thousand dollars in it cole's gonna offer to take care of vanessa like paying her rent and her bills that way she can focus on her music videos he's also gonna offer her these five thousand dollars up front and all he wants in return is for vanessa to become his girlfriend and his personal stripper oh. five thousand dollars you think that's that's gonna make her go Oh, 5K a week? Come on, man. We got to go big. We got to go big, man. They trying to use the money glitch, chat. They trying to use the money glitch. I don't know. I don't know if it's going to work. She a stripper like 5K. I ain't going to lie. She might touch that easily. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Unlike the ones though, the fuck hit a down payment. <laughs> these hundreds are not real. They're just prop money. But Vanessa doesn't know that, and that's all that freaking matters. Here, I mean, I guess I'll get straight to the point, and I'll, and I'll be real with you for a second. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Ooh. I wanted you to. Isn't he supposed to stay near the five k? To come over here today because I kind of have an offer for you. Mm -hmm. I want you to be able to focus on your dreams and your aspirations and, and your career. I don't want you to have to worry about money, trip about like paying your rent, your bills, all of that. I want you to focus on your modeling, your dancing, your music. I want to be able to take care of you. So wait a minute, I'm confused. Are you like, like, are you trying to manage me? You you want something, right, in return? Like you're just not about yeah. to do all that. No, I definitely want something in return. <laughs> El Malfis, El Malfis. But I know nothing about his message is, is anything personal. Like it's just like it's very strategic and structural. Manager, like, like I said, I know man. Not like you know, not not nothing, nothing, nothing emotional. No emotional finesse. Like you know, I really believe in you. You know, I'm I have a, I have a lot of money. I have a lot of stuff. So I really it, it really moves me to help people in a system and their dreams, especially when they take it serious. You know, you showed up the next day. It, no emphasis in his delivery. Like, come on, man. Sell this shit, nigga. Manager. It's like almost creepy. Like, I can definitely get you signed. Okay, so what is it that you want? I mean, it's nothing crazy. I, I actually want you to keep doing what you're doing. Mm -hmm. What is it that I'm doing? Yeah. Wasting words, man. Let me write the script. Basically, I want you to dance for me. Or or or, I, or what they call that shit? Um, improv, bro. Like, I want you to be my personal stripper. Okay. <laughs> this shit just went through. So Cole has laid his offer out on the table And Vanessa is speechless right, she, she and Mika have been dating for four years now But she brought This nigga ain't never happy <laughs> On the table and Vanessa is speechless She and Mika <laughs> This been stretching This been stressing him out yo Mika have been dating for Yo she is stressing him out man Four years now but she's just been offered the opportunity of a lifetime. The question is, will she find this opportunity more valuable than her Four relationship years. with Mika? Four years, five bands? I don't know, they should went heavier on her, bro. Like, if you're really the guy in LA, five is light. Change, you know, I take care of you. You don't have to 
worry about money and obviously like I have a lot of connections and I'm gonna help you out. Well, the offer's not clear, man. Yeah, I don't know if I feel comfortable with that. So Mika breathes a sigh of relief, but you guys know this test is not that was a terrible. That was a terrible offer, bro. Like I can't even rate that as her being loyal. I think it's safe to say that Vanessa is a visual person, right? At least when it comes to money. Well, with that being said, oh, she's it's time for her. She got a motion Mika highlight. breathes a sigh of relief, but you guys know this test is not over. I think it's safe to say that Vanessa is a visual person, right? At least when it comes to money. Well, if I can't doing shit to her, she'll sneeze on that. Oh, well, with that being said, it's time for her to see the money. Now, obviously, it's prop money, which means that we can't let Vanessa hold it, otherwise she'll see that it's fake. But that doesn't mean that we still can't effectively have her visualize Cole's offer. So, underneath the desk, we put a money counter for the dramatic effect that we need. Cole rises to his feet. He bends over, picks up the money counter, and places it on the desk. Here, like, I'm a visual person. I feel like if I just show you what I'm talking about, like, you'll better understand, okay? <laughs> This is the good part. <laughs> this is the talk that shit. Part. Talk that shit. Talk that shit. Here's to place the five thousand dollars through the money counter. Five K. Right. I ain't gonna lie. That was a good setup, chat. I was like, that was the best thing about this video. <laughs> this is a really good part. He now prepares to place the five thousand dollars through the money counter. Five K right here. Five thousand dollars. Five thousand dollars. She's laughing at that. Why are you trolling? Through the money counter. Five K right here. Five thousand dollars. Five thousand dollars cash right here. Five thousand dollars. This can be all yours. Right there. Every time you dance for me. Okay? And every time. Oh shit. You know what? I'm gonna throw this in there too. You know what this is? Okay, throwing in the Tesla as part of Cole's offer was oh, he's cooking. not a part of the original plan. But I mean, great improv, Cole. I can take care of you. You don't have to work your fucking job anymore. You can commit like your full energy and time into like your art and like your. His finesse should have been. I, I seen what the industry has done, especially when you're trying to manage. It's all or nothing. You know, I, I need all of you. I need none of you. You know, it ain't the kind of grind that you kind of show up and you 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 distracted with this and you're doing that. You know, a part of what's holding you back is, is is going all the way in. So I just want to get an opportunity to be free. Like, make it about the freedom, bro. Career, and I can help you with that. Cole, catch your like feelings. Full energy and time. He's like, Cole, that's not on the script. The Tesla. I can take care of you. You don't have to work your fucking job anymore. You can commit like your full energy and time into like your art and like your career, and I can help you with that. They say seeing is believing, right? Well, now let's see what Vanessa says after seeing everything. completely fine with my job and I'd rather not depend on anybody. You don't have to be too proud. Like honestly, like we can all You already depend on people when you show up. Like use some help every now and then. I thought I was coming here just to have like a business conversation. It ain't that deep tied, no, but it would have got that deep. It would have got that deep. And about like music or modeling. Yeah, I mean we're having that. But I don't like, know. I mean can I ask you something? Because that would have emphasized his expertise. I done managed multiple people before. I know what it takes to make it successful and doing that at the same time that just it just don't work. This ain't a fifty fifty success is not fifty fifty, you know, it's all or none. Yeah. You're a handsome guy, you're young, Thank you. you don't have a girlfriend. Can I ask you something? Yeah. Oh my god. Do I tell you about excuses, man? No means no. You're a handsome guy. But an you excuse? Know, you don't have a girlfriend, side chick, you know, you never use Tinder. <laughs> Honestly, I feel like I've been searching like my whole life for like literally you. When I saw you last night. I'll on that pole and then when you were dancing up on me, I was like, this is bitch. Shut up, Ty. Bitch, you ain't never had the finesse for something in your life, pussy. Watch your fucking mouth. Tired of you dweebs. What did this nigga just say, bro? Honestly, I feel like I've been searching like my whole life for like literally you. When I saw you last night up on that pole, and then when you were dancing up on me, I was like, this is big. <laughs> I mean, she laughing, bro, so. A win is a win. Oh, I know. A win is a win. I don't care what y'all say. Up on that pole, and then when you were dancing up on me, I was like, this is big. 
Seriously, like I've been thinking about you nonstop, like since last night. For real. And uh, I just, I, I, I don't know. I really just, I, I want to be able to take care of you. It could start off as like you being my personal dancer, right? And then maybe it can evolve a little bit more from there, and maybe we can date. No, don't even try it. Don't even try it. Okay, I have a boyfriend. She's showing, she is showing signs of loyalty. <laughs> no, you don't. Yes. What? Yes, what? She find this too funny for my personal for me personally this is a little bit too funny for me like Showing signs of loyalty <laughs> no you don't boyfriend or a toy friend baby why are you playing why are you playing with the wrong nigga? Oh, yes. what yes, what come on Wait, man what does this guy even do like who is this guy i don't think it matters but the security guard and um... security guard you're dating fucking paul blart over here <laughs> no nah, this is personal Security, baby. So he'll understand about you securing this motherfucking bag. Is <laughs> he like a small? <laughs> yeah. Well, no, you be laughing hard as shit. This is crazy. No, this is personal, bro. No. He gonna come back and be like, bro, what you trying to diss my job for? Like, he said, bro, I had to commit to the script. Being like a mall cop. No. I had to commit to the no. script. Can, can this guy really take care of you, though? Like, I know those guys don't make a lot of money. Yeah. He does what he can, and I do my part, and he does his part, and... I don't know, I think you gotta leave this guy. No. You can't, you, you can't, you can't be seen, like, walking around, wiped up with a fucking mall cop. I really don't care what you think. That's what I'm talking about, baby. <laughs> Keep that same in. That's fine, I guess. Like, I can respect that. But, I mean, what if we just, like, go out to dinner and get to know each other a little bit better, you know what I mean? I... I Packing, picking the stuff up, she about to leave. No, some like great places. I can't. Like I said, that's not what I came here for. So if I gave you like the perception that this is gonna be something different. This nigga lucky as fuck, you got a loyal stripper. Man. <laughs> <laughs> I, I have a golden opportunty for you. I don't. You're I'm flushing sorry. it down. It's that diamond Pokemon card. <laughs> yeah, I just, I just don't feel comfortable with dancing for someone outside of the club. Test these nuts, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> I don't really feel safe, and I just miss you. Okay. So if we're gonna yeah. work, yeah. let's work. Just so you know, you're throwing away like a golden opportunity. Do you think you're the first guy to try to offer me something like this? So surprisingly. Right, none of them tried to understand her. They just came in with the bag, bro. She already been offered the bag. She work at strip clubs. Niggas is coming with money. For the bitch ass niggas that, bro, that's too much. She, they never came with the emotional angle. Dummy, she see money every day. Oh, that that's already patched. Unless he would have said something like a million dollars and he would have put it on the table. Like, he would have really had to blow her out the water with that. Leave a nest. 5K just don't... That don't even move y'all, probably. I mean, y'all ain't got no morals anyway, but... Like, five, who who jumping on 5K when they probably make that already? Lisa is turning down Cole's offer. As opposed to getting salty, offended, or feeling objectified, she still tells Cole that she's still willing to work with him if the music video thingy is legit. But nothing more than that. Is that is that enough? Like, what, you let me know when enough is enough. Because, like, she's saying no, but he's still going at it. You let me know. Like, I think if she didn't say yes at the money counter part, yeah. Yeah, she's loyal. Yeah. She, yeah. Uh, she, yeah, she means, she means what she's saying. And with that, the test is over. Vanessa has passed. She has chosen to not trade her boyfriend for money. Congratulations. How are you? How are um, you? I'm still a little heart's beating, but it's easy. It's <laughs> were, were, easy you, were you scared at any moment? <laughs> I kind of I was more nervous. Seven minutes on the clock was about to happen, man. Yeah. <laughs> just a little anticipating on what she was gonna say. Yeah. Like I feel bad, but at the same time I don't, cause I feel like she goes through this on a daily. Uh -huh. like, so it's like it's bound to happen. But uh -huh. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. You would expect for a girl, you know, that's a stripper to just say, "Oh hell yeah, <laughs> I'll take that money." But the fact that she said no, like it just shows you, bro. Like you got you. Why do people think like this about strippers, bro? They honestly be the best at curving, niggas. Depending, depending on the stripper, honestly. But they be the best at running game on niggas. Telling them what they need to hear. Finessing. Low effort, high, high results, man. Like, just, just doing the bare minimum and, and squeezing the shit out of a nigga pocket. It's the average chick that's walking around you every day that's probably the biggest hoe. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Love it on the real. You gotta take her out to eat somewhere nice and eat her booty after. I mean, <laughs> oh, yeah. you, gotta, hey, you gotta slurp. Come on, man. Well, you slurp. <laughs> slurp them booty cheeks. Uh, <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> so you gotta take her out somewhere nice and eat the booty. 
eat the bootay. Okay, let's not get distracted here. Mika still has a decision to make. You have to choose what you want to do now. Do you want to go out there, come clean, or do you want to just dip? Let's confront your man. You want to eat it? Let's confront you. Do you know what you want to say? Y'all would have told her chat. <laughs> okay, well, you listen. Just gonna be mad? No, you don't think so? No, she's she more startled. So with that, we disconnect from her phone call, then I head outside to grab our third angle. Yes, Vanessa passed, but just because she passed doesn't mean that she's gonna be too happy when Mika comes clean about what was going on. Okay, last chance to turn around and leave. I wouldn't have told her, but then again, he probably was gonna go back to the crib and be happy as shit. She's like, why the fuck is the old mood different? And not do anything to her. Last chance. Are you gonna do it? Are you gonna go? Are you gonna go? Let's go. Get it off the chest. Then. Okay. So ironically, Mika has decided to do the exact same thing that Cole did. But as we know, it ain't go so well for Cole. So let's just hope that Mika isn't making a mistake here too. Regardless of the outcome though, I hope you guys have your talkings because you guys already know this shit's gonna be good. I hate to say this because it's very stereotypical, but I gotta be honest. Given that Vanessa is a stripper, I personally thought that she was going to fail this test. I was actually shocked <laughs> when she declined Cole's offer and stayed loyal to her boyfriend's Mika. It's five bands, bro. Yo, yo. Mika, of course, was ecstatic because he finally got the peace of mind of knowing that even though it's yeah, like she got a kick do. No matter how much money a guy can offer her, she will never trade him. Well, now Mika has decided to come clean to Vanessa about the test that he's put her through, and let's just hope that things don't go. South. So you can come over here, stand over here. Okay, let's get the cameras going. Okay, um, here, let me grab this camera. Oh, uh, Vanessa, we have something we want to tell you. Well, actually, that Mika wants to tell you. Why are you here? Like, how did you even get here? This is. It's, it's a long story. Okay, well, sorry for me. Like, for real, I got all these cameras in my face and shit. What's going on? This is. All right, well, I gathered everyone here to see if you would trade me for this guy or not. Mm -hmm. uh, so this entire thing, Vanessa, was actually all just a big giant test. Like none of it was real. Mm -hmm. um, we, ba like he's saying, we wanted to see if you would end up trading your boyfriend's Mika for Cole. And wait, um, wait, wait, whoa, 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 hold on. Who are you? I'm so, <laughs> <laughs> so confused. Right my, my, my name is Sergio. Okay. Nice to meet you. Hi, Sergio. <laughs> yeah, Cole's actually been working with us this mm -hmm. this entire time. That's why when he went to your work yes last night and met you and got your number and invited you over here and stuff, that was all a part of like this test. And right now when he made you the deal, offering you five thousand bucks and taking care of you, paying mm -hmm. your bills, yeah, paying I your rent, the Tesla, <laughs> <laughs> all of that was all part of a test to see if you would end up leaving. See, it wasn't really a tight knit plan. Like, how can we really know? Send a fucking demon in there, bro. Like, send somebody that's gonna get it done. That's gonna really like do that. Do this for real. You never even know this nigga Cole ever had to finesse something ever in his life. If he ever had to get working way at work his way out of a jam. Beat the odds. She fool. I ain't gonna say she gonna fool. Like a motherfucker that's not gonna cheat never will. But if it's a chance, you gotta find a motherfucker that know how to crack, turn that one percent to a to a seventy five, and then get it done. Eating your boyfriend Mika. For Cole. We've actually been here this entire time in the other room, listening to the entire conversation that you've had with Cole right now. Been spectating. <laughs> yeah. So he's heard. He heard everything. He heard you being loyal and stuff. So. Um, so yeah so we're here right now because he wanted to come clean to you he wanted to let you know what's been going on and stuff which mm -hmm. you know he felt that was the right thing to do and everything and yeah we want to let you to yeah, have a conversation yeah, and we yeah, want to record yeah, this conversation easily. just for a little bit okay. at any point though i know it's kind of weird and it's kind of awkward but at any point if it gets like too weird or too awkward or you guys want to talk about in private just let us know we'll turn off the cameras or we'll go outside or whatever mm -hmm. it is and stuff like that okay okay but with, your, with your permission though we'll record this conversation for like about two minutes i know it's kind of weird but ignore us ignore the yeah, cameras okay. you guys can talk and uh, ignore us is the dumbest shit that ever came up with show business like no dickhead you're literally standing next to me i yeah, can't believe that we're doing now why it's, why it's, it's a lot it's a, it's a lot to do it right now i know but baby i just did this just to I was just curious. I just wanted to see if you would trade me or not. It was all out of curiosity. Curious about what? You would leave me for somebody that had more money or just <laughs> for materialistic things. I don't know. I, I was just really... Nigga, if she ain't did it in the last four years, when did you think it was going to happen? Curious. I swear, like, we've had this conversation before. Yeah. Definitely in the crib, insecure. I mean, for a predictable reason, right? But couldn't get over it. Her phone ring. He kind of nervous, scared, insecure, a little bit bitching. Conversation wasn't enough. He had to do this to finally get off his chest. Try to tighten the leash up on her. I, I could see it. I could see what was going on. 
I could definitely see what's going on. Plenty full of time. So why would you put me through this? I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? You obviously know. So tell me for a friend. I mean, well, look at you. You're smart. You're beautiful. Great personality. Okay. Well. Dance moves. <laughs> <laughs> no. Smart. You're beautiful. Great person. I slept on cold. Personality. Okay. Well. Dance moves. <laughs> and she the first one to let. Money to the side, she might go. He should have just rizzed her up. That five bands ain't did nothing that that joke did better at. Five bands made her uncomfortable. The joke got her laughing and smiling. She good. Dog, she might have liked him and said, you know what? It ain't even about the money. Like, I just, I just, I just always needed somebody that really believed in me and just like saw my potential and just could help me really just think big. Baby, I'll be everything under the sun. And it's always gonna be fun. Like, oh my God, bro. I'm trying to tell y'all. Y'all be thinking money to answer, well, bro. Sure you're smart, you're beautiful, great personality. Okay, well. Dance rooms. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that's crazy. That still doesn't explain That's crazy. Like... That's if we crazy, can get some insights on your feelings, I know it's a lot and I know you're kind of, you're very nervous right now, but how, are you mad at him for doing this? Are you disappointed in him? Do you feel like he broke your trust or I don't know, how do you feel? Do you feel betrayed? Are you... You, you, done, you done served her like three options and answers, bro. Um, no, I'm not mad. I'm really shocked. This was really unexpected. I you love know? you. I trust <laughs> you. I just... This was just all out of curiosity. Yeah, I love you too. Aww. So. <laughs> oh, you. I'm so so I hope you don't put me through something like this again, or someone to fuck you up. Oh, <laughs> this this is like really low key embarrassing. Okay, okay. But I feel like there's always trust issues with you know boyfriends who have stripper girlfriends, and you know you just gotta be confident in your woman. So I hope this gives you the confidence that you. Needed or were looking for it. Never have I said I didn't trust you. I'm just Bro, oh my god. I hope she left this loser. Nigga, you wouldn't have did this if you trusted her. We we see what we, we see what's going on, bro. Just be honest. Like, you know what? I was I was on thin ice. I was I was I kinda half and half with it, but this really showed me everything I needed to see, baby. You know, I love you. I'll never play with your loyalty again. Let's go to the crib and do what we do. Come on, man. It's just the inner thing. I just wanted, it was just curious. Like, why we in denial, man? That's the lamest shit you could do, man. I said, now I'm Own up to it. You know what? I really did not, like, you proved something to me today. Curiosity is gone. It's out. It's off my chest. Okay, baby. Well. <laughs> so, no, no, no. He better to lose her off of this more than her actual loyalty. Drama's going down this episode. No, no fights, no chunk plus being thrown. <laughs> I'm just kidding. All right, all right, I guess. Man. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> man, her face was covered up until the last. We're gonna get that face good. Oh, oh, oh. Man, this shit like slick, blurry as shit, though. 720p, what is this? 1942? Oh, <laughs> goals. Oh, yes. goals. Yeah. Now, remember what I told you to do. <laughs> Come on, why are everybody saying the wrong things at the wrong time, man? Yes. Yeah. Now, remember what I told you to do. <laughs> but on the real, you got to take her out to eat somewhere nice and eat her booty out. <laughs> okay, don't quote me because I'm not too sure, but I think this is one of her only happy endings. <laughs> You guys can chill here if you guys want to chill here. You guys don't have to leave. Like, we, can, we can get some drinks or something. I don't know. Vanessa not only passed the test, but she was also quite understanding as to why Mika placed her to the test in the first place. Mika wanted a peace of mind, and now he has it more than ever. Even though Vanessa is a stripper, and even though she does dance on other guys for money, at least Mika now knows more than ever that she just sees it as business because her Damn, you used to, like, remove their faces, bro? I, like, that make this shit ten times better, chat. I don't know about y'all, bro. Four years ago, I guess you don't do that no more, but. Up and loyalty like with him. So Vanessa, keep on doing what you're doing, make that bread and good luck on your career goals. Here's a little shout out to help you out. And Mika. He put it over her taste. <laughs> you used to be different, doing bro. Doing what you're doing, make that bread and good luck on your career goals. Here's a little <laughs> shout out to help you out. And Mika, have fun. She, I like, I don't know, bro. She be looking pretty, then she be looking all right. Then she be looking pretty, then she be looking all right. It's not my girl, I really don't care. Needing them booty cheeks.